Let's verify trigonometric identities that use the sum and difference formulas. For example, let's verify this identity here. Now we see on the left that we have cosine of a difference. So let's recall the difference formula for cosine. The difference formula for cosine is that the cosine of a minus b is equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b plus the sine of a times the sine of b. And we'll use that here. That is, the left-hand side is equal to the cosine of x times the cosine of 3 pi divided by 2 plus the sine of x times the sine of 3 pi divided by 2. And this is equal to the cosine of x times the cosine of 3 pi divided by 2, which is 0, plus the sine of x times the sine of 3 pi divided by 2, which is negative 1. And cosine x times 0 is equal to 0. And so we're left with negative sine of x, which, looking up here, is the right-hand side of this identity that we're trying to prove, which means we have verified this identity. All right, let's look at another example. Let's verify this identity here. Looking on the left-hand side of this equation, we have the sine of a difference. So let's recall the difference formula for sine. It states that the sine of a minus b is equal to the sine of a times the cosine of b minus the cosine of a times the sine of b. And using this here on the left-hand side gives us that this is equal to the sine of x times the cosine of y minus the cosine of x times the sine of y, still all divided by the cosine of x times the cosine of y. Now let's divide each term in the numerator by the denominator. That is, this is equal to the sine of x times the cosine of y divided by the cosine of x times the cosine of y minus the cosine of x times the sine of y divided by the cosine of x times the cosine of y. Now on this first fraction, we can cancel a cosine y from the numerator and the denominator. And on the second fraction, we can cancel the cosine x from the numerator and the denominator, which leaves us with sine x divided by cosine x minus sine y divided by cosine y. But sine x divided by cosine x is equal to tangent x, and sine y divided by cosine y is tangent of y, which is exactly the right-hand side of this identity that we wanted to verify. And so we have verified the identity. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.